Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're on Hardcore Factions and I finally got some time to do some recording, so what we're going to do today is build the entrance to the Thunder Base. And uh, I'm going to go for a dual piston elevator. Oh, by the way, uh, I said entrance, but uh, I mean exit. Since this is uh, SMP, I don't expect the design to work 100%. So uh, I'm going to take that into account and make sure that there is a proper entrance still. So uh, we need to move the sky up five blocks. And to do that, well, you may or may not know the drill. But I have to build that weird little redstone worm thing. Ugh. I really do not like being out in the open like this. It's just an invitation for someone to prill up and get me. People like doing that, you know. Ah, okay, so let's try and remember how to build this. I haven't built them for a little while. Which is good because it could get a bit monotonous. But it also means that I don't. I'm a little bit rusty. Okay. Do my best to remember. I asked the other guys if I wanted one of these, and I said yes. Uh, hopefully everyone's going to be happy about this, and it won't kill anyone. My contraptions in the past have regrettably killed people, yes. And yes, it did kind of put me off making things for a little while. But then I realized that I could make things to kill people. And this is, of course, Hardcore Factions. So I will be right back once I get this bit done. Look at that sword, guys. It really needs to be fixed. <laughs> well, you aren't trying to club people to death with a hilt here. So, something I said a little while ago the last time I built this actually was that it's every time is never the same because uh, what I do depends on how many pistons I have and uh, if I if it has to be slightly different a different number then I have to scrap the old design and make a new design uh. <laughs> Alright, looks like the first half is working. So, uh, this takes us down here right now. I'll have to make this room look a bit nicer and also connect it to the door there. I'll just put that torch back. Yeah. Need to break that. But for now, I'll keep it closed off. Good. Keep it closed off because I don't want to inadvertently open a hole. You have to be. You have to always re be really careful that you keep your holes closed. <laughs> because otherwise, uh, you never know when people are just waiting outside to dump in the tiniest little gap. In fact, once a few maps ago, I was uh, I was building something just just outside the door, and I opened a hole. I looked outside, I closed it up, and then immediately a, an ender pearl hits it. And uh, it turns out that it was open, and well, while it was open, someone had thrown an ender pearl to try and get in. And if I hadn't closed it fast enough, I would have certainly been dead. One, okay, so let's build the bottom part. One, two, three, four, five. 
I need equal amounts of pistons on the bottom and the top, of course. And there we go. Now we start the redstone from the bottom, and I need a shovel, so... Hey, I've been in here before. I always like to carry a, a big stack of stuff on me. Usually it's only redstone, but today it happens to be iron as well. Okay, let's jump. <laughs> that was so pointless. Ah, uh, I could have just gone down there. Okay, let's begin the redstone from down here now. Alright, I'm getting a little bit distracted, but... I just got assaulted by mobs while I was building my thing, so it it tells me that our base is not lit up properly. Luckily, a while ago I developed a solution for that, which is oops, which is the mob spawn finder 1.0. Ah, here we go. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Let's sort this place out. So, uh, in case you haven't seen how this works, all you have to do is get rid of the red places. Really easy, really simple. And now it looks like this bottom floor is mostly done. But I was up here when I got assaulted. This stupid skeletons don't know what they're up to. And it looks like we are almost done. So I made this texture pack, so uh, to make it really easy, oh, here's the skeletons I killed by the way, make it quick and painless to uh, light up your base. Originally it was, it was because I had uh, some villagers and the zombies would have a go at them. <laughs> so then I would have no more villagers and I worked so... I worked for so long on them, but uh, this turned out to be a lot better than I expected. It's also been a bit more popular than I expected. So, here we go. I finished the basic redstone. So let's jump down this stupidly long <laughs> staircase and... Uh, Good thing I made extra torches. Whoever made the space did not slide up properly at all. Okay, so I have a button here. Right there. And that is supposed to make you go up. Really simple to operate. You push. Well, I, I will link it up to something else, don't worry. It goes up, and then I have another input up here that makes it go down. And now we can break open this wall. And if you are standing in there, you would now be down here and ready to exit the base, but I'm going to keep that closed for now. Okay, just a quick status update. I spilled this, I haven't tested it. But I think I got the button hooked up. And apparently not. So, I'll show you the debugging process. Okay, so what went wrong was I tried to change this to make it look better. Yeah. And it didn't work. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. I can... I'll just go back to this. I thought it might look nicer, but... It doesn't work. Oh, let's, uh, reset it. Jump down here once again. <laughs> oh, I'll also have to hook up that button. Too. I think I might make it automatic, since it's only an exit. So when you leave, then it 
sucks you right. Uh, it sucks the elevator right back up. Let's walk over here. How good it came up. Ah, damn it! <laughs> I think I know what I did wrong. Let's break this box so I don't suffocate myself. Uh, everything you do. I changed the timing of that one. That, mean, that means I almost... No, I, I also changed the timing of the one down here. Okay, there we go. That should be working. And I am slowly running out of... Oh no, I have plenty of sandstone. What am I talking about? Oh, by the way, I got this cool new mouse. The old one I had, which was just a, you know, a normal Logitech desktop mouse, nothing really special. Uh, it turned out to be faulty. It's something to do with the wireless and it. This wasn't working, so after a while, I managed to get it replaced. Kidding me? And it's my new mouse is a Logitech M560. So maybe if you want to see what it looks like, you can Google it, I suppose. But it's got this really cool scroll wheel. Awesome. So right now you can see I'm scrolling, and it goes. It's got you know you can feel the little notches. That's wrong again. But when I push it down, it changes mode, so now watch this. Whoops. Oh, whoops, I didn't push it down all the way. Okay, there we go. Uh, I guess you can... I think it's, it must be a bug with Minecraft. Okay, so apparently it doesn't go well, so well in Minecraft, but... Ah! <laughs> These stupid holes. But, uh, it has a free spinning mode, where you can spin it really fast. Okay, that must have fixed it, surely, by now. So, while I'll play games using the, the click-to-click mode, I will. Well, I use the free spinning mode when I'm crossing web pages, and it means you can roll really fast. And the, yes, you still have a lot of control. I timed it. It spins for uh, somewhere upward of 10 seconds, maybe about 15. If you push it, if you spin it really hard. So here we go. It finally worked. And I guess I'll be back once I make some more progress. Well guys, it's not quite done, but I think I'm going to have to leave it here, because I am going to sleep. So, uh, I left these signs here. Hopefully my faction mates don't break anything. And, uh, you know, this video has been pretty long. I usually try and keep it under 5 minutes. Just because, uh, A, it's faster to edit and upload, and B, it's more to the point. I don't want to bore you, but uh, I know that some people some people like to make short videos and some people like to make long videos and both are successful, so tell me if you would prefer to see the process of making this and I'll continue to make, to make the exit room and decorate it and build it. Or would you prefer if I uh, just show you the final thing? So until next time, I will see you later. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, never mind. Uh, bye.